Shalom Akim, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukhah Kodesh. Double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles of Rebbe, Mr. Unruwell, and the Akim out there. Preaching the words of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and truth throughout the four corners of the earth. This is your brother, Menashe, D.C. Camp. Short lesson to the fight of hope for the elect. To know that uh, freedom is really necessary, man. It's really, really important. And... Uh, and getting wealth, you know, the freedom that we really need is from the Lord. You know, it's, it's derived from the Lord, Yahweh Shai. It's not what this world can give unto us, right? Because the, you know, the so-called liberties of this world is basically nonsense, all right? You just have to stick with what's really true. And that's the words of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Our people seem to get things twisted all the time by uh you know striving for uh crumbs that babylon is always throwing their way all right so uh it's really necessary that in these last days that we uh keep eye you know keep our eyes on the prize all right which is this gospel all right this gospel of salvation all right so this is the book of uh john chapter 8 I'm going to read verses 31 and 32. It says, uh, Then Yahweh Shai spake to those Jews which believed, which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So that's what it boils down to. All right, by continuing the words of the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai, in sincerity and in truth, and you're going to get your freedom. That's the that's the end goal. Freedom. Right? Freedom what does that mean? Salvation, right? And as you see this this uh quote on the screen, I believe uh the guy is a Jake. He's uh he, I think he already passed away, you know, decades ago. Alright. And uh he used to live among the Canaanites during that time of uh you know, the protests and the riots. In South Africa, all right. So you could tell, you know, if you do the the research, on the history you could tell, he was associated with Mandela and uh, every other, <laughs> you know, uh, Jake and Canaanite that wanted to get away from Esau's oppressive uh, apartheid system. So uh, he said that the most potent weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. All right. And that's why uh, we have this uh, precept. You know, you have to understand, man, why the Lord El Shai is bringing uh, salvation to our people. He's the captain of our salvation. So this is Isaiah chapter 51, verse 14. He says, The captive exile, that's our people, the elect of our people, okay? The captive exile hasten it that he may be loosed and that he should not die in the pit nor that his bread should fail and that's what it boils down to Isaiah chapter 51 verse 14 the captive exile that's the nation of Israel so called Negro, so called Latino and so called Native Americans right? says the captive exile hasten it that he may be loose loose from what? oppression all right, by uh, by Esau's system. All right, by Esau's dominion on the face of the earth, and that he should not die in the pit, in a low position. All right, in, in in poverty, in squalor, in the the demise of our people. That's not what the elect is looking forward to believing for. All right, we have to look forward to the kingdom. That's why we have the word called hope. Nor that his bread should fail. That this knowledge, this is our bread. All right, the words of the Lord, they have a shy. All right, and John chapter 8, verses 31 32 tells you that freedom is the end result of hearing the words of the Lord, they have a shy. That's what it boils down to. And uh, for you to be free, you have to learn to cast off Esau's image. You know, you have to cast off his covering. Right? You have to dismiss 
everything he's told you about yourself, <laughs> about himself. He has to go back to the source, the, uh, the foundation, the beginnings. All right? That's why you have the Holy Scriptures. That's why the Lord God by Shema Shai sent his Holy Spirit to his servants, the elect, to let them know the plans of salvation for the nation of Israel. So this is Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7. This is what the Lord said. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. All right, so all that mirage in that Esau's cast upon the mind of our people that is projected into the minds of our people, the Lord is going to wash it away. He's going to, you know, scrub that stuff away. He's going to tear it down. And that's right. A lot of a lot of our people are waking up. All right. You have a, you have a, the name of the Lord Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai is becoming popular by the second. All right. So the fame of the Lord is uh it's it's, it's getting stuck, man. It's, it's up there. It's getting hot and hot. Verse eight says, "He will swallow up death in victory." Right, and the Lord Yahweh will wipe away tears from all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord had spoken it. All right, so the, the times of ignorance, the times of deceit, the times of failure, the times of sluggishness, the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai is about to do away with that. The time of uh, of uh, our people living in in the congregation of the dead, those days are limited. Those days are coming to an end. All right, the days of our people hearkening onto Esau's system, the system that's nothing but, uh, you know, a, a detriment to the mindset of our people, to the psyche of our people. That's pieces of the Lord Yahweh. And that's the reason why he's going to send his son Yahweh Shai to tear down Babylon, to tear down, to tear down America, to tear down the New World Order, all right? And it's really necessary that uh, it takes place, man, okay? Because our people are tired of being slaves. We're talking about the elect, all right? So the Lord Abba Shema Shah is coming with healing in his wings to render a recompense, all right? And then when you read Isaiah chapter 10, Verse 27, it tells you that, and it shall come to pass that, and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. All right, so the time of release is coming. All right, the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to release our people from Esau's uh, grip. All right, Esau has a stranglehold on our nation. All right. And uh, it says, uh, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So the word of the Lord, through his Holy Spirit, at the behest of the Lord, how shy is going to grant our, you know, our prophets, you know, right, the apostles, you know, the elect, all right, so going to grant them salvation, all right, release, you know, and that's exactly what we're really looking for. That spiritual release. You don't want to be tied mentally or psychologically to Esau's system of governance anymore because uh, it's fading away. All right? That's why the Lord Yahusha is building you know, the tabernacle of David, David that was in ruin. All right? He's gathering his government together. And that's what we are witnessing. The government of the nation of Israel is being built. And that's why it's really important to understand what it really means to be free. To build a government, you need to be free. A legitimate government, all right, that the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai has in mind, he has to grant us freedom first, all right? Freedom to speak this gospel, to speak this truth, to free our minds from the shackle of Esau's uh, philosophies, all right? Because Esau has, uh, you know, gained control of the history books. He's been hiding so much information that our people don't really understand what's really, really going on. But when uh, he gives you the Holy Spirit, you're able to put the puzzle pieces together. 
And that's exactly where the elect come in. Alright? Because we have no fear when it comes to preaching this gospel because it's really necessary. You know, freedom comes with a with sacrifice. And the men of the Lord are willing to sacrifice their lives to preach this gospel because we understand that uh, Esau cannot stop the word of the Lord. Alright? And that's the why, you know, <laughs> you know, that our, our boldness is increasing on a daily basis. All right. So you have to understand, you, can, you can't be afraid, man. You know, you have to accept your lot to preach this gospel. All right. There is no shame in looking forward to being free. All right. You don't want to live your life in shame. So you have to uh, make amends. All right. That's why Lord Yahushai said in the book of uh, Luke chapter 4 it tells you about uh, the people being free so this is Luke chapter 4 verse 18 the spirit of uh, or some of verse 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and that's our people. Our people are poor when it comes to knowledge. And that's why this knowledge of the gospel is being uh, propagated over the internet and on the highways and byways to our people that need to hear it. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives. Right? Freedom. Right? I read in Isaiah 51 14 about the captive exile. That's our people. Freedom. Deliverance salvation and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the lord and that's exactly what really motivates the elect man when you read what the lord yahushai has done and you continue in it then you know that uh, you will be rewarded okay with that freedom right <laughs> freedom Freedom, that's a beautiful word, man. You know, it comes with uh, conditions, right? To be able to live, lay the, the, you know, the groundwork, you know, sacrifices, all right? That's what I mean by conditions, all right? And when you read the book of Acts chapter 5, I'm not going to read the whole story, but it's gonna, it tells you about what happened to Peter and how the angel of the Lord delivered him. Actually, it's Acts chapter 12. All right, if you read from verse 5, it says, Then Peter was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing, to the, without ceasing of the church unto how for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and the light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from him. And that's what we really need. All right, that uh, freedom, deliverance from Esau. <laughs> that's exactly what the Lord Yabashim Shai. You know, it's on its way to do. And the angel said unto him, Guard thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. And he went out and followed him. And wist not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. That's what it's like to be free. All right. When you think. Things are not going to happen, and then it happens, you're surprised. And it's just a testament of what the Lord Yahweh Shai told Peter that upon this rock, all right, was, will he build his church, all right, his, gov his, gov his government. That's basically what the church is the government of the Lord Yahweh Shai, the government of the nation of Israel, all right. Right, the hundred and forty four thousand. That's exactly what the Lord Yahushua was talking about. And it's beautiful, man, to see how the Lord <laughs> you know paid back Herod. Alright, so 
you're gonna see a lot of uh judgment coming on these elites man you know it talks about uh the scripture talks about the insurrection upon those that fear the lord and then you see how the lord is gonna react how the lord will retaliate again these super rich that always uh attempting to destroy our people yeah so just be patient so the book of uh, Sirach chapter 30 5 verses 16 to 18 all right so it says uh he that serveth the lord shall be accepted with favor and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds all right so it's really necessary to pray all right scripture talks about men ought to always pray and not faint so it's really necessary all right we take prayer seriously and uh and fasting is really necessary because you have to learn to deny yourself and to meditate and to build up your faith in these last days because we're going into a serious time of uh, sacrifice, a serious time of uh, denying yourself. Okay? So it says, uh, The prayer of the humble pierced the clouds until it come nigh, he would not be comforted. All right, that's why he says in Isaiah chapter 6, 2 verse 6, Watchmen upon the wall, not set watchmen upon the wall of the nation of Israel, that will not hold their peace day nor night, and will not depart till the Most High shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. For the Lord will not be slack, neither will the mighty be patient toward them, till he have smitten in sunder the loins of the unmerciful, and he paid vengeance to the heathen, till he have taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the scepter of the unrighteous. So, Esau's done, man. All right, Moab is done. Amalek is done. All right, Moab, Moab, Ammon, Ishmael, Japheth, Ham. They're all going down with Esau. All right. So the Lord Yahweh is bringing that freedom to our people. So we just have to uh, prepare for it, okay? Prepare, prepare, prepare. Just like John the Baptist was saying, prepare ye the way. All right, so final precept is going to be from the book of uh, John chapter 16, verse 33. It says, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So he gave you the sweet and the bitter. And it lets you know of what you have to expect at the end of it. So our people have to understand that it's really necessary to be free. And to understand what you have to deal with in this world. Concerning persecution, and ridicule and oppression. And to also know that the Lord is on his way. You know, to uh, deliver you. And that's what it boils down to. You have to go through that narrow path. All right? So that's the point that I can hope you've been edified. I pray the Lord that Bashimasha blesses you with the knowledge to hold on to. All right? Because uh, this quote on the screen, man, tells you the most potent weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. That's why, you know, the Lord has to take away the shackle. He has to break that uh, yoke. Esau has put upon the, our people's mind. All right, the Lord has to bring that anointing, which is uh, being uh, passed around, you know, all over the face of the earth to the elect. You know, right, by the elect, to, you know, to uh, wake our people up. Because when our people wake up or slumber, that's it. Well, that, that's the reason why Esau is upset. That's the reason behind this new world order, all this. Uh, so-called uh you know corona this and corona that always gotta come up with drama <laughs> all right you know so just be grateful that uh, you have this knowledge and uh, you need to build on it all right because you need to build to be free and that's uh and that's necessary all right shalom